Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Celebrity Fragrance Riri by Rihanna. And I'll be sharing with you guys my thoughts on this scent. I'll also be sharing with you guys all of the scent combinations that I have tested out with Riri. And I'll be ranking them from my favorite to my least favorite. So for the scent Riri, this is a really nice pretty understated sexy scent so you get this really pretty feminine slightly powdery scent and then for like the undertone of the scent you get a nice um subtle sexy scent so i really enjoy this it is it has this slightly dark quality to it without it being too much you know how I could describe it like into the night or dark kiss it kind of has something that slightly reminds me of that maybe closer to like dream bright actually now I think of it um where it slightly has that but it has a lot of more fruity notes to it and then it has this powdery um scent to really brighten it but I really enjoy this one I think it is kind of flirty girly and really nice so I really do think it's one of my favorite celebrity fragrances in terms of the scent itself the downside to it is the lasting power I just cannot get this to last um, more than an hour I feel like it fades not only does it not last for over an hour it really fades it doesn't project very well and I find that the scent just disappears too fast. So for that reason, even though the scent itself is one of my favorite celebrity fragrances, because of the lasting power, I just don't enjoy it that much because if I were to wear it anywhere, I feel like I'd have to reapply it after about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, now it does last for an hour, like I will smell it on my skin for an hour but keep in mind it becomes a skin scent after like 15 minutes so that is the really big downside to this scent and I do find that my Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret fragrances project more and that was the hardest part about trying to find a scent combination with this scent is that anytime I would pair it with a scent even if it went well um, I would smell that scent more than this one. So for that reason, it's not a favorite of mine. And I do think that if it had better longevity, that more people would like it. But this is a mist. And if I were to get it again, I would try to get that perfume version, honestly. Um, I also find these mist and the celebrity fragrances like the Riri, line um or rihanna line the ariana grande line the mist version are so hard to spray especially after it gets like halfway so just keep that in mind i think the perfume is a little bit easier to use even my bath and body works ones are a little bit easier to use and victoria's secret ones so just a good thing to keep in mind if you guys are interested in that scent okay now for the scent combinations there were, I will share with you guys my favorites first, just so if you're interested, if you already have this scent, you know which ones might be the best to pair it with. And then I will kind of go into, it's kind of ranking it, them from my favorite down to my least favorite. So I'll start off with my favorite pairing, and that is Bath & Body Works Dark Kiss. So there's just something so great about Dark Kiss with this scent. I find that they both have a little bit of a dark quality. Like for example, Riri has like a slight understated dark quality to it, whereas Dark Kiss is a lot darker in general. Um, what I mean by that, it has like a patchouli note. Um, and I find that these pair just so nicely together. There is a rum note in Riri that gives it this beautiful quality to it. It has a fruity note, whereas Dark Kiss has a plum note to it. I believe it has, oh, it has black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. Yeah, it's that plum musk, and then the black um, raspberry 
and the rose kind of give it like this fruity, slightly floral note. And I find that it mixes well with Riri. Riri has like this, it has a powdery note on the top, I would feel like. There is like a slight powderiness to it. Kind of like gives me like a powdery marshmallow vibe. Not super like marshmallowy, just more like powdery. A light dusting, if you will. But it has like this rum note, which gives it this fruity factor. So for that reason, I think they pair so nice together. I don't think that Dark Kiss overpowers it, but it gives it lo greater longevity. I find that I can smell these both for longer than an hour when I pair these together. They last, I would say like Dark Kiss will last like all day. Like this has lasted me like eight hours. <laughs> But with Riri, it la makes the longevity last longer on Riri as well. Riri with Dark Kiss, I will smell it even longer than an hour. I would say like three hours longevity with Riri, and then you just kind of smell Dark Kiss. But because they have similar scent profiles, this one's a lot lighter though. They work so well together, and I just absolutely love this combo. I found it kind of brightened up. The Riri brightens up Dark Kiss. It makes it more fruity, a little bit more playful. And the Dark Kiss gives it more depth. It gives it greater longevity. So this was the perfect combo. So if you want to pair anything with Riri, pair it with Dark Kiss. Okay, so the next scent combo I want to mention is actually ended up being another favorite. This is Bath & Body Works Vanilla or Wicked Vanilla Woods. So I don't think this was going to be a favorite at first. I liked it, but it has like this black, um, is it black pepper? No, or pink pepper. Okay, so it has, yeah, magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanting pink pepper. So that peppery note is just perfect in this. Sometimes um, I don't, I don't love peppery notes. Actually, I think I do. But there are some days where I don't want to smell pink pepper. However, when I feel like wearing this, oh my god, it is so good. This scent is comparable to Good Girl Supreme um, by Carolina Herrera, if you like those type of scents, or Black Opium by YSL. That is what this scent reminds me of, and it is so good so good okay but together these are just a match made in heaven like they just work so well um and together it really gives off that good girl supreme dna i feel like riri kind of has that riri and dark kiss kind of have the good girl supreme dna to an extent actually i would say even good girl they kind of have like the dark quality that good girl has um where there's like this like almost like plummy note to it. I don't know how to explain it. And I know Good Girl, I don't think it has a plum note to it, but it just has something that reminds me of plum or prunes. And I just get that in that. So I find that when I pair these together, it just smells like the ultimate close dupe to Good Girl Supreme. So that is why I think they're made for each other. And I find that it gives Riri greater longevity as well. It lasts about the same, about like that four hour mark with Riri. And then after a while, you just smell wicked vanilla woods, but it gives it a nice fruitiness to it. Um, whereas wicked vanilla woods is very good. It has like the depth there. It has the um, like su good girl Supreme DNA slightly where it has like that pepperiness to it has like a depth to it. It has a nice warm vanilla um, note where it's like a grown-up vanilla. When you pair it with Riri, it gives it that original good girl DNA almost slightly where it's a little bit plummy, a little bit fruity, and together they just work so perfectly. So I have to say that I absolutely love these together. Longevity for Wicked Vanilla Woods is going to last you all day. But with Riri, it will give it greater longevity as well. At least I've noticed that. Um, I kind of smell both of them for at least like four hours. So that is why I have to say this was my second favorite. Okay, the next um, combo I want to share with you guys is Bath & Body Works Forever Red. 
So they both, I decided to pair them both because they both have a rum note to them. Forever Red has uh, fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. So that vanilla rum and the fruitiness kind of just marries well together with Riri. Riri has a fruitiness too. I'm not sure what the fruitiness is, but I would say it's kind of included with the rum. Um, and together, these just work so well. I would say Forever Red, it's you definitely get the pomegranate. It's like a slightly tart fruitiness, but not really. It's still very sweet at the same time, but it just has a hint of a tart undertone in the fruity factor. But it has this beautiful rum note, vanilla rum, right? And so does Riri. It has like this nice rum note to it. So they just, they just go so well together. I would say Riri has a little bit more depth. Um, now this one, the lasting power did together wasn't nearly as long. I would say maybe like two and a half hours, but, but, okay. But of course, forever red lasts all day. So that is my biggest complaint with Riri. It just doesn't last as long. But together, they did give it like about a good two and a half hours that I could wear it and still smell both fragrances. And then it just kind of smells like Forever Red. But it's still a good one. And I prefer like if it's two and a half hours and then I have to reapply, it's not as big of a deal as if it were, you know, I don't know, like, 15 minutes right so okay so the next fragrance i want to share with you guys that i really enjoyed with riri is a thousand christmas wishes by bath and body works so this one it kind of reminds me of forever red i know it's supposed to be a thousand wishes that it's kind of similar to but to me it just smells closer to forever red oh by the way guys forever red it has this slightly Swedish fish smell to it. So does A Thousand Wishes. I actually say A Thousand Wishes is closer to Swedish fish. And it was actually Natalie Grace where I heard that from. So yeah, she's the one who said like Forever Red kind of gives off the Swedish fish. To me, A Thousand Wishes as well. Um, but they both kind of have that vibe. Same with A Thousand Christmas Wishes, but this one is a lot more darker it's kind of smells like an alcoholic sangria drink as well it's a lot more tart um but this pairs with riri so well this one has notes of pomegranate prosecco sweet elderberries star jasmine and sugared woods so actually no wonder why it reminds me of forever red it has that pomegranate note again and the more I wear this one, the more I like it. I didn't love this one at first, if I'm going to be honest. It was almost too tart for me. Now I really enjoy it. I think it's gotten sweeter over time. Or maybe I've gotten more used to it. I don't know. But for whatever reason, I love it now. And you really get that like fruitiness. I think it pairs so well with Riri. Kind of like the pomegranate mixed with the rum from Riri. It just works perfectly. Okay, so this is a good combo. It's kind of similar to Forever Red, but it gives it more of a depth, more of a tartness to it. I think it smells even more elevated. It kind of smells like you're like something you could wear if you were going out. I would think this would be good for a brewery, a winery, um, if you're going out to a fancy restaurant, you have like a nice dress on. That's what I think this works well for. This lasted about three hours together, okay? You're gonna smell both of these for about three hours, so a little bit more longevity. I think that A Thousand Christmas Wishes is a little bit stronger than Forever Red. Um, but then, pretty much after the three hour mark, it really dies down, and then you get more of A Thousand Christmas Wishes. So A Thousand Christmas Wishes will last longer, but just to give you guys an idea, it's about three hours together. And for that reason, though, um, I really enjoyed this one. So, yeah. Okay, so the next scent combo I want to share with you guys that I really enjoyed together was Prismatic Stars with Riri. So, 
this is such a good Bath and Body Works fragrance. Like, it smells really good. It's a nice berry scent. This is also kind of similar to A Thousand Christmas Wishes. Um, it's just a really nice Bath and Body Works berry scent. So this one, um, yeah, it has Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, and Cosmic Cashmere. So I think the plum kind of reminds me of Riri. I don't even know if what notes Riri has, but there's something about it that kind of smells a little bit plummy. And it has that rum note, and I think that the rum note really goes well with um, the berry note. So for that reason, I think these pair well. However, I'd say they both don't last as long. This one only lasted me about half the day. So I smelled this one, which is still good for Bath & Body Works, by the way. But this one lasted about five to six hours. Um, whereas, the, like, A Thousand Christmas Wishes lasted, like, eight. So I did have to reapply after six hours with just this scent alone. So, of course, the longevity does not last as long. I would say with Riri paired with Prismatic Stars, it lasts about two hours, right? But, you know, then all I leave leaves is Prismatic Stars, and that lasted for six. So, yeah, I would say, but it's still, it's still a good combo. Um, but you do have to reapply it throughout the day, at least if you want it to project as well. I don't think this has as great projection, even though it lasted for six hours. Um, I would say after the two hour mark, it kind of became a skin scent more, more so. Um, so that was a little disappointing, honestly, but it's still a really good one. And I find that it worked really nicely with Riri. Okay. Okay, so the next fragrance I want to share with you guys that I thought was a good scent combo is Violet Plum. Okay, so this one I also felt like worked really well with Riri. This is a bit more floral with the violet, but it has that plum note, which kind of goes well with the fruity rum note in Riri. So for that reason, I thought these also paired nice together. This one, however, didn't have as good longevity. Now, Violet Plum lasted all day, but I found that with Riri, I only got like an hour, <laughs> right? Where I smelled like Riri with Violet Plum, and then it did help the longevity for that hour more, but after an hour, all I smelled was Violet Plum. And Violet Plum still, to me, didn't last as long. It only lasted about six hours again. So still decent longevity for a Bath & Body Works mist, but didn't last as long. I also didn't think it paired as nicely as the Fruity Notes, um, but it still worked really well, okay? So still really liked it. Okay, so the next fragrance I have to share with you guys that went really well with Riri is Rebel Fleur by Rihanna. I just had a feeling these two would work, pair well. I believe this has some fruity notes to it. It's like coconut, like a dark coconut, um, sexy patchouli scent, and it works well with Riri. I mean, this has plum. My biggest thing is this is a lot stronger, so it's going to last a lot longer. I found it kind of overpowered Riri a little bit, so, you know, for that reason, I don't find them to be a perfect pairing because obviously I just smelled this a whole lot longer. At first I thought they would pair really well together and they do but because I don't smell both of these equally and I smell this one like more that was my only complaint with it so but yeah I would say together it lasted for about two hours where I could smell both of them and then after the two hour mark all I smell is Rebel Fleur Luckily, the notes in these are somewhat similar. This kind of smells like the opening of, like some of the, do I want to say opening or top notes in Rebel Fleur? Um, I'm not sure if that's completely accurate, but it has like some of the similar like fruity rum notes that this one has. But this has like a more in-depth base with the patchouli, um, etc. So... You know, it is a little different, obviously, and it's a lot darker and heavier, 
but for that reason they do work well together it kind of makes this one this scent stronger um but yeah this one will last all day this only lasts for like two hours with this scent so and just the fact that this one i smelled more made it not as good as a scent combo okay the next one i have to mention is the bath and body works into the night so i kind of had the same complaint with this one this one was a lot stronger i would say this is oh i'm sorry i should have <laughs> my bad okay this one was a lot stronger so i just smelled into the night um pretty much just smelled into the night if anything it just gave this the fruity berry notes a little bit more mm. <laughs> that was about it um by the way this has notes oh they're coming off it has patchouli um mocha musk it has some berry notes in here i velvet tea rose i believe that's some of the notes so these two do, do pair very nice together, but as a, a whole, I just smelled Into the Night a lot more because Into the Night is a strong scent. And I find if you want to pair it with a different scent to give it something different, um, you need something a lot stronger than Brie Brie. And that is the biggest reason why I feel like even though they pair nice together and nothing smelled the wrong or bad, like they really do go well together because Riri has these rum fruity notes in it, right? And has a hint of depth. But Riri works better with Dark Kiss because Dark Kiss isn't as strong. It isn't as bitter as Into the Night. Into the Night is not as sweet and Into the Night is even more depth to it. So I find it wasn't as perfect of a pairing. And originally, I would think Into the Night would be very similar to Dark Kiss, but when I paired it with Riri, I realized it was a lot stronger, and, you know, I couldn't even tell how long Riri lasted because it just kind of smelled like Into the Night. But I would say this, I would actually say for about an hour, I did smell more fruitiness to Into the Night, but after that hour, it was pretty much just Into the Night that I smelled, so that gives you the idea of longevity, but this does last you all day. It lasted me about at least 12 hours, I swear, and I could smell it almost the next day on my clothes at least. So it is good in that sense. Okay, so the next scent combo I wanted to share with you guys that was my next favorite was Riri with Black Opium. Again, same kind of thing with Into the Night. Black Opium lasted a lot longer. So this one lasted like about the same as Into the Night. I would say like eight plus hours. Um, still smell in my clothes the next day, honestly. Black Opium is a really good scent. I like it more than Into the Night because it's sweeter. It has more coffee notes, notes to it. It has like this perfume quality that I smell in like YSL Leave Intense and... Um, uh, Lanter D by Givenchy and all those type of fragrances. There's something similar I smell in the quality. Um, you do get like a hint of a fruitiness in Black Opium. Um, but overall, it pairs very well with Riri, right? Riri has like this powdery note that kind of has a similar vibe to the powdery note from Black Opium. Um, and the fruity notes really do add to black opium. So if you want it to smell more fruity, Riri is nice with it. There's nothing wrong with the scent combo. But again, black opium just lasts a lot longer. Together, I it lasted for about an hour and a half where I could smell both. But then after the hour and a half mark, I smelled only black opium. So just keep that in mind. So that's my review on that one. Okay, so the next um, scent combo I really did like was Riri with Enchanted Candy Potion. Um, this one has notes of spellblinding sugar, bee witch berries, and whipped pixie dust. So this is a very sweet, sweet scent, similar to Boardwalk Taffy. It's like this just sugar burst where it smells like pixie sticks dust. But it also has like a slightly cough medicine vibe to it, even though it's very sweet. Um, there's just something about it that gives it this dark 
kind of slightly Robitussin vibe to it. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I do think that it pairs nice with Riri. It kind of, Riri kind of helped get rid of that like cough medicine vibe because it adds like a fruity note um, that isn't so medicinal smelling. So I actually enjoyed these two together. Um, but again, they both don't last as long. Enchanted Candy Potion only lasted about like four hours on me. And with Riri, it lasted about an hour and a half together. And then after a while, I just smelled Enchanted Candy Potion. Now, I would still say it lasts longer than four hours. I would just say four hours with projection. After the four hour mark, um, Enchanted Candy Potion becomes a skin scent. So maybe it lasts more like six hours, but I had to go up to my wrist to be able to smell it. So that's what I have to say with that. Okay, so the next scent combo that I tried was Pinkberry Clouds with Riri. This also paired nice together. Um, I don't think, it's kind of similar to Enchanted, Enchanted Candy Potion. This one, um, again, it lasts all day. It just becomes a skin scent after about four hours. I would smell it closer to my skin, but it still lasted a decent amount of time for a body mist. Um, but with Riri, only lasted for about an hour. So in that sense, the longevity isn't the best if you want to have both of them smell good for longer. Um, but they didn't go the best and they're not like the worst together. So they so went good together. Um, the pink berry clouds, like it basically smells like boardwalk taffy, pink sugar. So it's very sugary. It went pretty well with Riri, honestly, which is a lot more fruity and it's a lot more elevated than pink berry clouds. Um, it just gives it more sweetness if anything, but the longevity wasn't the best and um, it wasn't my favorite pairing, but it wasn't bad. Okay, so the next one I have to mention to you guys is, is XO Victoria. So this one I actually really like together. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it just doesn't last as long. I feel like in some ways I like the scent combo better. But I would say with XO Victoria, Riri only lasted about, I want to say about an hour. But XO Victoria does last a lot longer. Um, it does become a skin scent after the three hour mark. And I still smell it um, on me because I'm wearing it today. <laughs> um, but... Riri has pretty much disappeared and now I smell XO Victoria. But Riri did last for an hour, pretty strong. Now I would say Riri is more like a skin scent. Um, I still smell a little bit, but it has become a skin scent along with XO Victoria. XO Victoria um, remains pretty strong until the three hour mark and then it becomes a skin scent. But these pair very nicely together. I would say Exo Victoria, I don't think I have the notes on here, but it's more floral. So this is more floral. It has like the slight fruity quality to it. To me, this one is a lot more daytime. It's like going to your brunch, um, going out with the girls, like that's Exo Victoria, but like daytime events. So this is more like shopping or going out to a nice restaurant for brunch during the daytime. Um, going to boutiques. That's what XO Victoria gives me the vibes of. Um, even like a wedding shower or something. Riri is a different vibe. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more like sexy fruity. Um, whereas Victoria's Secret is like the elegant version. Like it's a lot more elegant, like classy, whatever you want to call it. But they do pair very nice together. Riri has a little bit more powderiness to it. Um, Riri is a little bit more fruity, whereas XO Victoria is more floral, but they work really well together. Riri, the rum note, I think pairs better with XO Victoria than I thought. They just aren't like the perfect pairing, but they don't smell bad or anything together. They actually really work together well. So I do have to say that with that one. So now I'm going to move on to like the bottom of the list. Um, okay, so I do want to mention one I really enjoyed. 
um, Scandalous. So Scandalous with a Riray pairs really well. There's something kind of similar in the powderiness that these both have. Um, Scandalous is like this sweet, light, pretty vanilla scent with a little bit of sweetness from like a fruity note. Um, whereas Riri has this like powderiness that um, Scandalous kind of has. There's something similar in the quality that they both have. Um, and I really enjoy them together, like really do, okay? Um, but the uh, longevity isn't the best. Scandalous, um, I want to say last like two hours, right? I smell it for two hours and then it just becomes a skin scent. And it's so disappointing because I love Scandalous. And I think Riri with Scandalous would pair so well together if they lasted longer. And same issue with Riri, it only lasts for like an hour with Scandalous and then I just smell Scandalous pretty much. Um, but unfortunately Scandalous only lasts for about two hours. So that's where it's disappointing. But if these have greater longevity, they would really pair nice together. It's just too bad that they don't last. Um, and I think if you wanna make these last, you'd have to pair it with something else that's kind of similar. Okay, so moving on. Oh, I have one. Okay, I want to mention a big shout out to, if you guys heard of that marshmallow perfume that just came out by Sabrina Carpenter, I don't have it with me in this video. I totally forgot about it because I kept it in my bag with me. Um, but that one pairs so nice with Riri as well. I would vote that one in next. I would say the biggest thing with that one is I smell sweet tooth a lot more. But Riri lasts about the same as Scandalous. It only lasts for about an hour. Um, but then all I smell is Sweet Tooth. But those do pair well together. It just gives Riri a more marshmallow note. The only thing with that one is I feel like the Sweet Tooth stands out more than Riri. Um, and for that reason, I don't think they were, they go well together, but it doesn't make Riri stand out. It makes Sweet Tooth stand out. So for that reason, it wasn't the best combo, but oh my gosh, it smells so good together. Um, the fruitiness, it just gives it like this sweet marshmallow added with a fruity note, like a rum factor. So really enjoyed that pairing. Okay, so the next one I want to share with you guys is, this is Pastel Cloud. Um, this is from Walmart. Uh, got it a while back. So this... I don't remember the brand, okay? I wanna say it was Justice or something, like from the Justice store. But this is a nice scent. So it's kind of like a kid's kind of scent, um, as you can tell with the packaging. But this smells really nice. It's like this like young kind of like vanilla scent. It's not like super vanilla though. It kind of has like this candy factor where it smells like the beads candy. Yeah, it kind of just smells like those like candy beads. And vanilla it's a little bit fruity too and it pairs really well with Riri I would just say again the lasting power these together only lasted about an hour where I could smell Riri and pastel cloud after the hour mark all I smell is pastel cloud all day luckily pastel cloud lasts for a long time I would say it lasts for projects are really decent for about five to six hours and after six hours it just becomes a nice kind of light cloudy kind of skin scent. I would even say the candy note is similar to Cloud by Ariana Grande a little bit, um, where it kind of smells, but this one smells more like candy beads and the Cloud by Ariana Grande smells more like sweet tarts and Skittles. Um, but there is something similar to those. So these do pair very nice together. I really like them. I just wish it had greater longevity. Okay, so the next one I want to share with you guys for a scent combo. These ones, I kind of have the same complaint with them. So I'll start with Flash by Jimmy Choo. That was my next favorite. This one is like this nice, like, I feel like it's like pink pepper or something it has. I think there's a strawberry note and there might be like a peppery note because there's something about it that reminds me of Twilly by De Hermes or whatever, but like the... Um, the flanker of it yeah there's something about it that's similar um but with Riri these do work well I would say they're not a match made in heaven kind of 
pairing. They're a little bit too different. Um, not that they pair bad, but I just smell Flash by Jimmy Choo a lot more. This has great longevity, great lasting power. It lasted like eight plus hours, so really good longevity. It lasted me my whole work shift for eight hours. Um, and then Riri, though, it only, it kind of overpowers Riri. So I do smell, it kind of makes um, Flash by Jimmy Choo smell a little bit fruitier and you get like more of a rum note. But after about an hour, all I smell is Jimmy Choo Flash. And Jimmy Choo Flash lasts for like eight. So that's what I have to say with that. That's why it wasn't like perfect. Same thing with Mon Peri by YSL. This one is such a good scent and they pair so good together. They would pair good if Riri had greater projection, right? But Riri doesn't. It kind of blends into Mon Peri. Mon Peri is great projection wise. It has great lasting power. It did give it a slightly more fruity rum note to it, but also Mon Perry already has a fruitiness to it. So that is why it kind of overpowered Riri. Um, but on the bright side, it will last longer. I would just say you don't really get a whole lot of Riri when you pair these together. And for that reason, you know, what's the point kind of? <laughs> um, I could smell Riri for about 30 minutes before uh, Mon Perry just completely takes over and all you smell is Mon Perry. That's what I have to say with that one. The next one I paired it with was Lanter D by Givenchy. Same issue. So Lanter D has great longevity. It'll last for like eight plus hours, honestly. I smell it all day. But Riri, and there's a similarness to the powder